Hey everyone, Danielle here with Blue and White Week and the clock is ticking on the remainder of the season. It's April, which means that there's only four games remaining at home, one on the road. But even larger than that, April is known as Autism Awareness Month. And we had the chance to catch up with one of your very own members of the Toronto Maple Leafs to talk about his involvement in the community and his work around autism. We'll get to that in just a moment. But first, let's get a rundown of the games this week. One last road trip of the regular season for the boys in blue as they head to the Key Bank Centre to take on the Buffalo Sabres. The Sabres stole the show the last time these two teams met with the Leafs falling to a 5-2 loss. With that loss though came a gain for number 34 Austin Matthews. Matthews scored his 34th goal of the season tying Wendell Clark's rookie goal scoring record. Following that, the Buds are in town as they host Alex Ovechkin in the Washington Capitals. The series currently sits at 1-1 with the Caps winning it in OT the last time these two met. The Leafs will look to cap things off as they aim to take a 2-1 series lead from the Capitals. And on Thursday, the Leafs will face the Tampa Bay Lightning here at Air Canada Centre. A 5-0 game last time these two teams went up against each other with Frederick Anderson stopping all 33 shots to earn a shutout win. Back-to-back -back weekend games as we kick things off with the Penguins in town. Last time these two teams met, it was number 51 Jake Gardner who scored the winning goal in OT to give your buds a 2-1 finish. Last but not least, we close things off in the regular season with the Blue Jackets making their way to Air Canada Centre. Puck drop is at 6 p.m. On April 2nd, it's Autism Awareness Day, and with that, we had the chance to catch up with number 25, James Van Riemsdyk, as he provides us a perspective of a cause that is near and dear to his heart. This partnership with Autism Speaks allows him to give back to the community in a way that's meaningful to him. Take a look. Every guy, I think, has their causes that are a little bit closer to them than, uh, than other ones. There's so many valid ones out there, but I think for me, growing up with uh, some cousins that were on the the spectrum and I also had a friend on the spectrum as well and it's that cause that's near and dear and you see the different things uh, that they go through uh, in their lives and you want to try to be a part of making their lives a little bit better so for me it was a no-brainer to get involved with those causes and with that cause in particular try to contribute in any way I can. Me and the families seeing how excited the kids are to be there and it's nice to see at the end of the game just the smile that they have and how much fun they had at the game. LeafsNation.club. Heard of it? Well, if you haven't, it is the official fan community of your Toronto Maple Leafs. And the best part is it has something for everyone. Exclusive content, special offers, amazing contests, and you can even win tickets to upcoming Maple Leaf home games. I'm Danielle Manuel, and this has been Blue and White Week.